Hi. It is Amelia from Amelia Sells. This is part two of my um, haul. This is mostly from the com or not community, the church sale. But the first two items is from the yard sale. So I'm going to show this really quick. Um, they're kind of big. This is a typewriter, Sharp P A three thousand three. It's in the box. It has all the styrofoam. That's one reason I got it. It was two bucks. However. It was not worth as much as I thought it would be. I didn't have service to look it up, but for $2, I was willing to take the gamble. Um, the ones with the digital screens do seem to do better. This one does not have one of those screen screens, but I think I still will list it, even though it only gets about 25 bucks, just because it will be easy to ship. It has good padding already, and well, well I it will be heavy, though, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, the next item is actually a keep item that I got at a garage sale, and it's a trombone. It was five dollars, um, and I think I'm actually going to give this to one of my nephews, I believe, um, that plays the trombone. Fun fact: I played the trombone um, in school, so I am going to test this to make sure it works okay, and it does need some slide oil, definitely. But overall, it's an okay shape. It does have some dents in the bell, but for a student trombone, that's pretty common, actually. Um, you know, it's at school and, you know, it's kids. So I thought it was a good deal for $5, though, to get a trombone. So the next thing, I'm just saying jump right in. I have stuff laid out on my table. I have another box over here. So we got some stuff to go through. So their shoes, I believe, were $1.50. Now, they do do a half-off day, but I wanted to go to the community garage sales the next day, so I just kind of got what I wanted. And nothing, I don't think any of their clothing was over $3 or $2, so, or shoes. So these are Romica, Romica shoes. They just look nice. Um, I don't remember how much they're worth. Probably about 17 I'm hoping to get for them. Maybe list them at like 25 But I don't even know if I looked those up to be honest. Okay. The next ones were some Uggs. And they are just kind of flats. They do have like this weird like fuzzy thing in the back. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if that's a added feature. So if you've ever, it kind of looks like it's added, but I've never seen if, no, it's sewn in. So it's supposed to be there. So I won't rip it out. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how much these are worth. They were cute though. Those are the, all the shoes I got. Okay. So I got this Polaroid wink light flash for 50 cents. Probably about $12 on that. Not huge. Singer button holder. Singer does do a little bit better. So does. Um, there's a couple brands that do okay. This one is plastic. Have, has the plastic covering. And the plastic template. Um, it was originally $28. It's pretty expensive actually. It looks like it's an okay shape. It does have the pamphlet in the box. I'm probably going to be getting, I'm hoping for about 17 to 15 for this one. I pick up a lot of button holders and sewing things if you haven't noticed. Speaking of sewing, I got a skirt marker. These are not worth that much, unfortunately. I did get a skirt marker box. It does not have um, ruler, um, though, so that kind of sucks. I don't know if it's supposed to. I really don't know because it came in this box, which it fits right into. So I don't know. It was 50 cents for both of these, so we'll see. We will just have to see. Okay, the next thing I got were these two apple mice. I paid $2 for both of them. They're going for about $13 to $15 each online. I will definitely have to test them. 
got some cookie cutters. This is Tupperware. It's actually a cookie cutter set. These go for, I'm not sure, but I have some listed, so they'll be easy to list. Probably about $9.99. Now, some of my prices are pretty low on my items, but I get stuff really cheap. I try not to pay over $2 for anything, and my price point that a lot of my items that I sell are in that $15 range to $12 range. So I just wanted to put that out there. I live in Kansas, so I don't find a whole bunch of, I find a lot of cool vintage things, but not a lot of big dollar things. Um, but in my area, I mean, I'm sure there's places in Kansas you can find awesome stuff that's worth a lot of money, but I just find a lot of everyday things and I just try to make it work. For what I can find. So I got these strawberry shortcake dolls. These were 25 or 50 cents. They were in a bag with, no, they were 25 cents. There's the bag. Um, with another doll, but it was like a cheap doll that just went bye-bye. Um, she is real in pretty good shape. She has her clothes, her, her shoes, everything. She does have a few marks. Probably a lot these together. This one's sticky, which kind of makes me nervous. A lot of them together and I have no clue. Maybe 15. So I always pick these up if they're cheap enough. This was 50 cents. And I usually sell these. They, it, um, not I end it, but it like comes apart. Where is the, there it is. I guess I will undo it. Okay. So yeah, they like, yeah. And this one snaps into place, which is nice. Uh, everything so um 12 to 9.99 is what i ask for those here is a duncan butterfly yo-yo 25 cents again in that 15 to 12 or to 9.99 range now i love tupperware i always pick up tupperware cups if they're super cheap these are 25 cents they are missing some. I don't know if I have them. I have a box of Tupperware cups. If I don't, they will just go into my Tupperware box um, until I get a complete set. And yeah, I don't sell these for too much, about $15 to $18, depending on the color of the cups. Orange is a popular Tupperware color. Um, but I enjoy picking them up, so that's why I get them. I love to pour. Okay, this is a vintage Texas instrument um, calculator. Now, this calculator goes for about $15. However, the ones I've seen listed do not have the AC adapter. So, I'm hoping to get about $20 if it works and everything looks good on it. Okay, let's get these out of the way. I paid a dollar for this. It is a Sony, or no, a Samsung, sorry, um, video camera with a, it has, you uh, put the tape inside of it. However, it does not have a charger, which really stinks, but it was a buck. So I can either get a really cheap charger online and test it out and sell it for about 30 or 40 or I can sell it as is. I haven't decided. This one was also a dollar. Same thing, no charger for a dollar as is, or get a charger and sell for like 30 bucks. I will just have to decide. It did come with an SD chip, so that was worth a buck anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, these yet. And I knew they had no chargers when I bought them, but I still bought them. Okay, the next thing I got was the storybook reader read along DVDs and CDs. I'm not sure if this will be able to go media mail. I'll have to look it into it maybe. It was a dollar for the whole set. These were kind of a bad buy. They don't go for a whole lot and they're heavy. But if they can go media mail, that would be great. But I'm not sure yet. I'll have to look at the restrictions again. I always forget. Um, but I think they were going for like 15, nothing crazy. So this is a, um, 
ashtray with a either a match holder or cigarette holder on the top. Um, it is made out of that resin material. It is like a kind of a plastic type material resin mixed with sawdust, I believe. And you get this weird looking plastic wood stuff. Some of them are also mixed with, I don't believe this one is, it doesn't look dark enough. And, um, but some of them are mixed with pecan, crushed pecan shells. They're vintage. I do okay with this resin type stuff. So I'm hoping for about 16. Pay 25 cents for this guy. I believe he might be chalkware. Feels like it. He does have a chip on his nose. He's amazing though. I love him. He is like this Asian bust basically. He's really cool. He's small. Would be a great decor piece even with his chipped nose. So I'm hoping to get 15. I would say. So I'm going to do the big item right now that I found that I was really excited to find. Like, super excited to find. Um, and it is like, I was shocked. So, it is a Texas instrument. I paid $2 for it. Um... And it is TI Inspire CX. It's new in package. And it is from copyright is 2014. I'm not really sure how old it is. Probably after that. It does have a rechargeable battery, which makes me a little bit nervous because it's still in the package. I'm not going to open it. I don't know what kind of um, condition that is in. However, these go for about 150 to 174 new. Now, I did not know that when I picked it up. Um, I don't get service where I shop usually. Um, and I was actually not thinking about picking it up because I had never seen it. It's basically a colored graphing calculator is what it basically is. Um, because sometimes Tekus instrument stuff that's not like the um, 84s you know those ones they don't do well sometimes so I was kind of like eh, looking at it and then finally like, ah, just get it it's two dollars and um I'm glad I did because when I got home I was shocked like really shocked I don't know so that was a good deal I was happy to find that um, however, though, listing high dollar items kind of does make me nervous. So, I just have to get over that list. I mean, I've listed high dollar items before. No problem. But, you know, it just kind of makes you nervous. At least it does me. Okay, so this is a, um, mouse. I can't think of what it's called. I'm like, what is this called? A Kensington Turbo Ring Mouse. It was a dollar. This goes for about 30 to 25 bucks. I'm going to have to test it, but great pickup for that. It's also another great item. The next thing I got is a pig mug. Because everybody needs a pig mug. It is one of those probably poor, actually I'm pretty sure it is, mold ones that has a line down the middle. Poor, you pour it in and it molds it and then you paint it. It has a little bit of like flea biting on the nose, but overall in pretty good shape. Paid a buck, hoping to get 18. Next thing was these dudes. I got, I didn't really want this, but it came with him. He's a raisin. How cool is he? It's stuffed raisin with a tongue hanging out. <laughs> he is great. I love him. So this was a quarter for both of them. And I'm just going to be keeping this guy probably. And, well, I'll be selling him. If he's worth anything. If not, I, I will be keeping him because he's cool. And I like him. I didn't look him up though. This thing really scary looking Easter bunny oh it's a gun 
Gund creation. Hmm. Interesting. Let me think. I think the next thing is getting the box up here that I have over here and going through it next. Okay. That was kind of a mess, but it worked. So I did get a little bit of clothing. Um, I went through quite a bit of it. This smells like mothballs horribly, but it's just a Pendleton wool sweater, like a cardigan. Can you guys see that? Okay. And it has like a, what is that? What is it? A paisley? What is that? No, it's a chicken. No, it's paisley. <laughs> That's cool. Green. Nice. Smells like mothballs though. Okie dokie. Next thing I got was another Pendleton, but it was a poly cotton blend, like a twin set type thing. It just looked nice. So, cardigan with the tank. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I scooch over. There we go. It's washed. This I got for myself um, because I, I like it. I don't know if it's worth it. We'll have to look it up. If it's worth a lot, it won't be for me. But it's a hooded sweater. It's fluzz, fuzzy, or it's not fluffy feeling and warm, and it's just nice. That would be for me. I think their clothes were like a dollar fifty to a dollar. I don't know. Everything had a different price, but nothing was over two. Um. This was cool. This is like vintage. Made in China, but has really cool embroidering on it. And it still has the tag. I believe it's vintage. It might not be, actually. Maybe it's not vintage. Maybe it just looks vintage. But anyway, I don't care for this. It's really cool. I love the embroidering detail. I'm probably going to list it for about 30 bucks. So, yeah. So I like getting jean stuff. Um, this is a Ralph, or a Lauren Jeans Co. Ralph Lauren Petite, unfortunately. But it's a jean jacket, or vest, light wash, cute. These would be great for, like, projects, the light ones, too, I think. And you can see, like, patterns and stuff on them a little bit better than dark wash ones. Okay, I paid 25 cents for this because, hello, Spice Girls, yes, rainbowed, it was cool. It was 25 cents, and I was like, yes. I need this in my life to resell. I'm not keeping it, but it's cool. So, this is a Ginger G, which I have had before. This brand with cactuses on them. They usually have really cute prints. Cute elephant print. Size large. It's like a crop. Nice. Here's that other doll that came with the Strawberry Shortcake Girls. Mm, this is weird. This is a Swiss musical door chime. It does work. It's not very practical though. So what you do is you put this part on your door and this part on your wall. So when you open the door, it pulls the string. This string is really hard to pull though. Like, super hard to pull. I would think, I think you would break the string before you got it pulled. Let's see if I can pull it. And then when it closes, it starts winding itself back up, playing jingle bells. But, like I said, the string's not very strong. I think it would just break. So, okay. It's going in the box. But I still think I can get 12 bucks for it. Just, oh, I think people would like it if they like vintage stuff. Who knows? Or music boxes. It's an interesting music box. This is Chaps, but it's like a tie-dye. Like line tie-dye. Really pretty shirt. Um, another pasty cutter. I did pay a dollar for this, which is a little high for a small one. This Pamper Chef, so it will... 
I know it will bring at least $11, $12 maybe, and it will sell faster than a regular pastry cutter, in my opinion. Okay, so I loved the sweater. Um, there's something in the sweater, though. Oh, nope. And it, I pick up, like, really cute ones, stuff like this. I call it teacher wear. Or, you know, if you're just around, have a job around, um, you know, with kids and stuff. They, they enjoy when you have fun, you know, outfits. So it is so cute. It has a world and all the kids around it. Doves and peace signs. And it is adorable. Even the buttons are doves and worlds. I love this. Um, it is called Storybook Knits. It's a medium. And it's adorable. And I will probably list it for about 30 bucks, If not more. Because it is very well done. Oh my goodness. If you watch me for any time, you know I'm obsessed with services. I have way too many. I've been trying to downsize. Not going well. Um, like, how many cups do you really need, right? I think I need ton. Like, one for every day of the month, apparently. Um, but anyway, I found some service lids with these. If you collect, collect services or have services, you always misplace lids or you always find services without lids. These are 25 cents each, so great deal. They don't cost a whole lot new, only about four bucks, but I'm cheap and 25 cents is great. Okay, I got this springy little dog for 25 cents. I realized when I got home he's missing one of his little feet. So I think I'm just going to take all of his little feet off, maybe. We'll see. Unless he's in the box. But I just sold a cat one of these for about 12. I got some measuring spoons. These are for me. Um, I don't think, unless they're worth something, I don't think they are. They're just Amco. But they're really heavy duty and really nice. I just need to find a ring to put them on. Next, I got this new Attack Tommy Hilfiger like, tank top. It has a cute design on it. And it is a size large. See what it costs originally. $49. Wow. Way too expensive for me. Um, okay. So, but it did have a self tag, so you know, they probably all, all their stuff goes on sale, right? This is just a little row, like, I don't remember what it's called. This top <laughs> with the, the sleeves. It's in really good shape. It's cute. Usually, I've been trying to stay away from the little row, but I can't help it. I just, I just can't. Okay. This was a nice top. I like this top. The feel of it felt nice. Um, it is J. Crew, not factory, just J. Crew. And it's like a heathered gray with a print, on, a floral print on top of it. Or is that just leaves? No, it's floral too. And it just felt really nice. And it just, I don't know, it feels like it hasn't been worn very much. This feels nice too. What is this? Oh. This is a Ralph Lauren sport. Oh, it's like a tank. Tank with like a layering detail. It's kind of asymmetrical layering. And it's kind of a coral color. Sorry, the lighting's getting weird. It's getting dark outside. <sighs> Here's another new with tag Banana Republic. Um, just t-shirt. Cute print, simple, nothing super special, size medium. And I believe the next day they have fill a bag on clothing, which I went to last year and it ended up, everything ended up being like 12 cents each. But I wanted to go to the yard sales this year. They are on the same day, so I was like, oh, what to do? The good thing about this church sale, they have it every six months. And they always have tons of stuff. I don't know where they get it from. They always have tons of stuff. Okay, the next item I got was a cute cat. It was 50 cents. 
made in Japan. It's just cute. It's adorable. Probably 15. Unfortunately, we had a casualty. Mr. Rabbit's ear broke off because of me. I broke it upon unpacking it. I could glue it and keep him. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. He was, unless I break it again. Here's 50 cents. But the sad part is, he was a pair. Now there's only one rabbit. They were left on, made in Japan. They were really well made. Um, figures so that sucked but it's okay I probably can still get about $8.99 for just one of them they were 50 cents each and then I got this cute little uh, basin and what is this called? bowl it is just a made in tie on it was 50, 25 cents but I do good with miniatures always have um, it looks like it was painted by hand. Not very well, but it was. And it's just a miniature pitcher and basin. Bowl. Okay, I have more breakables, so I'm trying to figure out where they're at. <laughs> okay, more clothing. I layered them in the clothing. How I broke the air, air of the rabbit, ear of the rabbit, is that I wrapped it in the clothing. I yanked the clothing out. Fell on the floor. So this is a brand I've never heard of, Guild, Gilded Intent, new with tag though, originally it's from the buckle, originally $49.95, it was on sale for $24 when they bought it, expensive I think for a shirt personally, but if people love the buckle they might love this brand, I don't know. So. It's really cute though. It's like plaid, has like these, you know, roll up type sleeves. But the back has this interesting hole details. Cute. A little bit longer. <sighs> this is just a J. Jill um, medium. Just a simple peach colored shirt. J.C. is kind of like, meh, I don't know. I haven't decided if I like, I should continue picking it up or not, but obviously I did. I love this. If this fit me, I would keep it. It is a size large. It's 100% cotton, and it's gorgeous. Look at that embroidery. I love this. It's older. It's Carol. Carol Little. And it does have shoulder pads, but they are removable, so that's nice. And it's a tie front, and it's in really good shape, and I just love it. Okay, this is just a dry fit. I just pick them up if I can't get them cheap. I put them on auction or on eBay really cheap, and I sell them. So it's just pink dry fit shirt. There's the other breakables. This, I think I'm going to keep for myself. Um, it's just westbound. Really oversized shirt. I like it. I'll probably keep it. It looks comfortable. It's an XL. Okay, the other set I got, which I believe is also left in. It looks like it. Um, it was a dollar for the two. So 50 cents each and they're ducks and they're so cute hoping to get about $19 for the both of them if not a little bit more um, and you know these prices are just ones I'm pulling out of my the air right now a few times sometimes I do comp and I've been telling you if I've comped them or if they've been listed for that much but these are what I'm hoping to get for them will I get that probably not but that's what I'm listing them at and slowly going down 
And this is a Lucky Brand XL. It has a really cool, like, floral embroidery on it. So I like that. Okay, I only have two more pieces of cleaning left and two more hard goods left. I think I will be done. This is a longer video. I thought I got more stuff yard selling yesterday, but I don't know. This one's just taking a little longer, maybe. Okay, this is, where is it? A torrid top. It's very hard to show what it is. It's like, um, well, there. It has like a big open front and back, and then it has kind of, tape, kind of tapers in at the waist. And you probably wear something underneath it because that is one big V neck. And it's just really pretty. New with tags. Originally $38.90. Plus how much it was on sale for. Probably. This is just a Disney's Minnie Mouse or a long sleeve tee. Nothing super fancy. I just thought it was cute. And it is a extra large. Last two things. More Tupperware things. Not a full set. Still 25 cents. Grabbed them. I do have the color green. So I might need these ones. I don't know. And then I did get this um, religious thing it has a name on the back like the brand and it's like the wood with the paper overlay and i seem to do okay with that kind of stuff um i usually get it with boxes though but this was 25 cents so i thought i would give it a try um and that's everything that is everything got if you didn't see the first video make sure you go check it out and put down in the comments which one you liked best um, which one do you think I got the better stuff at? I think it's pretty even because I got that really cool clock the first time, which you'll have to watch the video to find out. And I got the calculator this time. And then everything else was just kind of cool filler stuff. Anyways, um, I hope you guys have a great night or day whenever you're watching this. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. I do have a a show every Wednesday night at 5 30 p.m. called what the heck Wednesday if you'd like to get reminded when that comes on you can hit the bell button below let's see what else I can say <laughs> I do have a frugal channel and I will link that down below as well it's called live well and the frugal and I like to share frugal recipes over there I try to put one video out a week on there sometimes it doesn't happen but I try and I think that's everything I'm on Instagram at Amelia Sells Vintage, which is linked or down below. And yeah, I hope, thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Bye guys.